when you say Tom Clancy, you say plausible near-future conflict, and that's what Ghost Recon Phantoms is about. Ghost Recon Phantoms, uh, we feel, does bring the realism to the battlefield. It's not science fiction. It's something that people could uh, expect to really happen, and this is really what Clancy and Ghost Recon are about. In visual art, matching form with function makes, uh, makes something believable. That's what separates something that's modern from something sci-fi. Is Modern is something that we can relate to. When we say plausible uh, near-future conflicts, we have to look at how the world is, and that's what we've been trying to do with Ghost Recon Phantoms. The world is no longer black and white, it's grey. We can see a blurring of the dichotomy between dark and light, uh, good versus evil. Now we will see a lot more um, internal conflicts. You have rival factions. On one side, the ghosts. On the other side, the phantoms. Ghosts uh, traditionally are fighting for the, to protect the interests of the US government. On the other side, the phantoms are uh, wants to fight to protect the interest of the US citizens. The real reason for them to fight is actually power. They have to take control of money, fundings, but also the most advanced IGA military techs. So the new logo represents the ghosts and the phantoms. We put it on one face because phantoms are essentially ghosts with different ideals. It's that gray area that we're trying to show. We try to encourage inspiration from multiple forms. I think, uh, you know, with an art team, as much as with a sound team, we don't want to limit them to uh, their input. Uh, we want them out in the wild, I guess you could say. We, we don't stick to one, one source. Because the, the technology that we're tracking actually evolves so fast that first time we saw one piece of technology, it already evolved into a commercial version Today. We have military consultants working for us to make sure that the degree of plausibility, especially on the weaponry and the uh, technological aspect, is, uh, is uh, correct. Uh, but we also, in fact, uh, over the years, uh, we employ quite a few military personnel themselves that just have a development career in software. The key sources for us is, uh, is uh, are mostly what DARPA is doing, as well as uh, what the Natick Center for uh, Infantry Research has been doing for the U.S. Army. And from there we derive how something actually works and then we extract that and simplify it into what we have now. We meet with uh, Marlo, the art director, uh, every day because it's very important that what we are trying to do from a concept, from an abstract standpoint, is clearly uh, expressed from a visual standpoint. Working with a marketing team and having creative constraints can sometimes be a good thing. So having those type of constraints actually helps us to extract more ideas from, from our sources. Um, I am passionate about military history and military technology in the game. I, I like realism in the game in this regard. I'm interested in how things uh, work and how can you make it simpler and available to a wider audience. We have a little bit of adversity rested in uh, the World Wars with the French. Um, you know, they gave us, they gave the Americans their history, but uh, we gave the French their freedom. I don't tell it to anybody, but uh, the biggest issue that we have is core effecto is a French, and don't want to acknowledge it. We don't push something out if we don't feel it makes sense in our game.